everybody, what's going on? I am Lori, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to more of Master Detective Archives Rain Code. In the previous episode, we found out who the culprit was. It was Zilch, and he, he died. Because apparently, apparently what happens is after you solve a mystery labyrinth, the culprit dies. So, Zilch is dead, supposedly. I haven't seen a body. I don't really truly know. The people that were trying to arrest us, the guy that had the, the, the money across his teeth, the words money written across his teeth, the big fat guy who was like decked out in gold, who was obviously like a freaking, a freaking goon, right? Yeah. He was trying to arrest us and we tried talking sense into him and he's like, oh no, blah, 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 excuses, excuses. And then this guy, this guy right here with the exclamation point across his head, over his head, not across saved us? I don't know who he is or what he wants, but we're gonna talk to him. Well. Hi. I like your hair. I bet that was quite a long trip for you. Welcome to Kanai Ward. Yeah, such such a warm welcome. Thanks. You must be Yuma. Yuma Coco Head, right? I am Yuma Coco Head. I am. And you are? I'm Yaku Furio. Yaku Furio. Oh, it's doing the thing. Oh, you you look so cool, dude. You're a cool kid. I was born and raised in Kanai Ward. Just a humble member of the WDO. Okay. So, so... Okay, so he probably knew that we were going to arrive at a certain time if he works for the WDO. I guess, I'm assuming. I don't really know. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. The only detective agency in Kanai Ward. Okay, so he totally knew. I think he's who summoned us? Or No, that's where we're supposed to be posted, at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. My office welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, thanks. The pleasure is all mine. So he's a detective from the WDO. Finally, I've met an ally. He managed to turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. Yeah, I guess he probably does have some some pull around these parts. Really? He's clearly just some careless middle-aged man. Come on, Shinigami, don't be like that. Don't don't be like that. Oh, by the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. It'd be terrible if you broke this rule. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. That's very specific. Okay, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> well, even if you did, they'd just assume you're some crazy person. That's fair. They'd just be like, oh, oh. Okay, so you, you're, you're crazy. You're just crazy. Now, shall we? Oh, by the way, I'd like to hear the details about this incident. Uh, right. I have all of it laid out. It's in a nice, pretty photo album. Let me share it with you. All the details. I put it together myself. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It took a while to get through all the proceedings. They practically interrogated you, right? <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outside world. Communication devices such as cell phones are confiscated. Cameras are not permitted to leave Kanai Ward either. Interesting. Even if you smuggle something with reception in, Kanai Ward is a dead zone. Thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Did you say no one? You show a lot of promise. Considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. I was scared, to be honest. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. Uh, the thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. As a basic rule, never look them in the eye. They're always itching for a fight. <laughs> kind of like mad dogs. <laughs> right. Amaterasu Corp doesn't want the unified government or the WDO meddling in their matters. Obviously. 
I even caught wind of them hiring a hitman. That doesn't surprise me either. A uh, hitman? They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai Ward. I'm guessing that's what Zilch essentially was, right? A hitman, an assassin they hired, right? Yeah. The result of which is this Amaterasu Express massacre. Uh huh. So Zilch was actually a hitman? Nope. There was a real master detective named Zilch. He was murdered beforehand and used as a disguise. I hate myself for liking Zilch's character so much. You were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. There was a separate first car at the station before you arrived where Zilch's body was hidden. Then, the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward and connect with the fake first car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives at Kanai Ward's platform. With no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. That was the plan. They would go to such lengths? Absolutely. Even though the plan didn't work, we still lost five master detectives. Given the situation, I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. That's all thanks to me. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. Yeah, thanks for saving my ass, Shinigami. I appreciate it. Wait, if there was a real Zilch, then the number of people on board the Amaterasu Express, including me, that makes six people. The numbers still don't add up. I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was precisely five. Oh, I'll explain that later. Hmm. Anyway, let's leave this place. Wouldn't want to give the peacekeepers any ideas. Ooh, pretty. This game is actually, like, really pretty. Especially for being on the Switch. I say that, though, but there's a lot of pretty games on the Switch. Like, a lot. It's raining. Hey, you're right! Are we at another train station? Oh no, this is the train station? Um. Who's that guy? That's a good question. Why didn't you stop them? It's me. You guys are fired. If I was your boss, I'd be firing you. Okay, so chapter zero, the end. That's what we're going into chapter one now? I see, I see. Oh, okay. So once the culprit is boom killed, you'll get rewarded based on how well Master did inside the labyrinth. Are you going to remember all of this? No, I'm <laughs> not going to remember all of this. Uh, you'll get a reward for each overall rating between SS through C. Not only did you get a reward for the rating you received, but every rating below it. So try shooting for the top. Results. SS. SS. S. I got a B on my stamina. S for now. Final. Yeah, well, stamina is going to be something that I probably never get an SS in. <laughs> okay, well, that's not, that's not so bad, right? Could be worse. Save progress. Yes, please. Yes, I would love to save the progress. Okay, so we're still in the prologue? Goodness. I mean, I guess we just did just get out of the tutorials, huh? I don't know why I'm acting surprised. Hmm. 
little long loading screen. Okay, well, let's saving again. Okay, I must be auto saving. Prologue. WDO versus Amaterasu Corporation. Okay, so this is the prologue, and then what we did before was chapter zero. Okay, gotcha. So it was like a like a pre prologue. <laughs> like a pre prologue it is a pretty city. It's very colorful. I like it. Nice hat. There's a place I want to show you. It's the best spot to learn about this town. Hey, relax. Don't be so nervous. Sure. Come on, this way. Okay, let's go. I look so cute in my little cape and hat. Abandoned building rooftop. What's this? You know, what a huge city. Maybe it's because of the rain, but it's a little eerie. Huh. Detective points. Okay. Is there anything else I can interact with? Can I leave? Come on, this way. Okay, apparently I can't leave. Look, I tried. All right, I'll talk to you. <sighs> I love the view of the city from here. Oh no, it's like we're always right at the brink of dawn. Although, thanks to them, the real dawn will never rise here. That's pretty cryptic. You mean Amaterasu Corporation? Kanai Ward is isolated and out of the UG's reach. Now, Amaterasu is the de facto master of the city. None who wish to live in peace dare defy them. As long as you know your place, life can be pretty good here. Open an umbrella and the rain won't touch you. Wear a raincoat and you can even take a girl cycling. You know what I mean, right? Kinda. <laughs> a while back, our detective agency used this building. But we were kicked out due to a contract dispute. The owner claimed renting the building out to detectives made the place unpopular. In Kanai Ward, detectives aren't even allowed to have their own offices. Really? I don't know what the WDO is thinking, but I don't want this town to change. It should stay the way it is. It deserves some peace and quiet. And that's why this time around, I don't want any trouble. It's not easy to negotiate with these people. Um, I heard that Kanai Ward has a lot of unsolved mysteries. Screams are part of the daily noise around here. They're kind of like church bells marking sunset. Also cryptic. Whenever someone's smiling in that building, Someone else in town is weeping. However, we can't go punching the guy who's smiling. We can only offer a handkerchief to those in tears before quietly slipping away. It sounds like we're kind of useless here. Nothing more is needed anyway. We're not superheroes or anything. We're just detectives. Just detectives, he says. But he has the resigned smile of someone who's given up. That look tells me exactly the kind of place Kanai Ward is, in a way words couldn't begin to describe. This fuss head dude comes off like an irresponsible geezer. Oh my gosh, Shinigami. But there's an ominous aura around him. You only end up like that if you've seen death all the time. Could it be because of this city? 
Maybe. Or maybe it's his old man stench. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Maybe it's his old man stench. Huh? Something wrong? Is there something in my gorgeous face? No. No, it's nothing. I'm only talking to my friendly ghost. Back in the day, I was rather popular with the ladies. <laughs> you may think that means I'm no longer so popular. And you'd be right. The rain, it never stops. Does it rain often here? Oh, this stuff? Fatalists would tell you that all rain must come to a stop. But for the past few years, the rain in our town hasn't stopped falling. For years? Yeah, years. It started around, oh, three years ago. Shouldn't you guys be underwater at that point? Weird, huh? Thanks to that, we have no need for weather forecasts. A city where it's always raining. No wonder things are so dark and damp here. The rain sure has changed things around here. Both the city and the people, too. Supposedly, there's something in the rain that messes with our bodies and the environment. But it's all hearsay. No one knows why the rain never lets up. But it probably has something to do with Amaterasu. Kanai Ward. It's such a bizarre place. <laughs> bizarre, huh? Uh, you're not gonna make it here if you find this shocking. You'll be seeing a lot of strange things in this city, I'll tell you that much. But there's no need to overcomplicate things. Everything is just an illusion in the rain. Just think of it that way, and you'll be fine. An illusion in the rain, huh? Trust me, it's easier this way. Is it? Well, now that i finished showing you the town, let's head to the agency. You didn't really show me around. You just showed me. Place. There's a lot more to it than I thought. You didn't really show me around. You just showed me the top of an abandoned building. I mean, we kind of looked around, but that's about it. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, it smells so good here. It's like there's a florist on every corner. Really? I don't see any florists. I didn't mean it literally. To me, nothing smells sweeter. Then, then death? Question mark. Then the stench of death. Oh, I knew it. She is a death god after all. The stench of death? There are gruesome mysteries all over this place. It smells so lovely. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. This is normal. This is this is normal. This is our life. That sounds so ominous. Hey, the elevator's here. Right. Coming. Yeah, I'm coming. Don't worry. I just had to stop and talk to myself. All right. Is there anything else we can interact with? You know. I think that was the same exact thing that we said earlier. That's fine. All right. Let's go. Now then. Come on. Let's go down. Yes. Right. No need to be so nervous. There's nothing dangerous here anyway. I don't believe you. Yes, I'm ready, or please wait a little long. No, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. On to the next mystery. Special Autonomous Zone of Kane War. Though initially a regional city- I was reading that loading screen! Some of the screens are quick and some of them are really fast. This area is called Kamasaki District. Kamasaki District. It's the busiest and messiest place in all of Ganai Ward. In other words, it's a lively area. And there are a lot of people around, sure. Okay. The neon looks magical blurred in the rain. If there really is an illusion in the rain, I think it'd be the streetlights. I don't have any memories of this scenery, but it still makes me all nostalgic. Perhaps I'm from a city like this one. Or maybe if you formed my mind into a shape, it looked like this place. Interesting. I totally just walked through that person, by the way. He didn't even like bump into me. We just walked right through him. 
Okay. Hey, isn't it weird how it's not flooded, given how it's always raining here? I know, right? It looks like they have a good drainage system. See? There's a drain leading to a pipe over there. That kind of thing creeps me out. Just imagine what would happen if I got sucked in there. Hey! There's a clown in the sewer staring at you! Oh my gosh. Uh, a clown? <laughs> Made you look! Why is there, like, a store down here in the sewers behind you? I explained briefly, but basically, Amaterasu Corp picks on detectives. My colleagues and hired assistants all quit. They said working here as a detective was simply impossible. So, you've been working as the only detective for the whole city ever since? It's not like I can change careers. I'm a WDO detective, after all. Clients trust me to do the job. Although, most of my requests involve infidelity or finding lost pets. What about unsolved mysteries? The peacekeepers get to handle that. Detectives don't even get close. Oh, interesting. But now, things could be different since you're all here. Huh? All? Yeah, what do you mean all? It's just it's just me and my ghost. Me and Casper. Yeah, we got a feeling things will be a bit stuffy moving forward. I need more context, please. Um, is your agency up ahead? Why are we in the sewers? Like I said earlier, detectives aren't allowed to work in a proper office in Kanai Ward. So we have a secret base in the sewers? Ugh, must we travel this nauseating path? I'm too blue-blooded for this. Same, Shinigami, same. The other master detectives are already waiting at the agency. You're the last to join us. Other master detectives? But everyone on the train died. Thanks to that hitman hired by Amaterasu. The WDO anticipated interference. They prepared multiple routes for entry into Kanai Ward. They covered their bases. Okay. Other master detectives arrive from routes besides the Amaterasu Express. Both official and unofficial members traveled through these various routes. I see. So it wasn't just the Amaterasu Express. Amaterasu Corporation caught on and tried to interfere on all the routes. Granted, they deny any involvement. Some routes were completely stamped out. Yours barely made it. That tragedy happened to others too. Excluding you, there are four others who survived. Unfortunately. A lot of sacrifices were made. But okay. as a result, you could say master detectives of the highest caliber have been gathered here. Each of you did outsmart Amaterasu and made it here after all. The highest caliber? Hearing master get complimented really annoys me. Wh why I wonder what these surviving master detectives are like. So exciting, so mysterious. Okay, so I'm automatically walking. I don't have to do it. It's just kind of walking for me at this point, which is interesting. Um, but what? Wait, wait, okay, so there's other master detectives. We all came from a different route because they anticipated that we were all gonna be massacred. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay. All right, sure. I don't, I don't know. I'm eager to meet the other teammates, I guess. The other detectives. So many colorful characters in the game so far, so I'm excited to Here we are. see who it is. Cool hideout. 
Um, where's the agency? It's right here. All right. Remember this, Yuma. The most important things cannot be seen by the eye. That is very clever, but how do they not know that you have a freaking submarine? How do they not know? How this corporation that has so much money and so much technology not know that you have a submarine? This is the agency? In the river. I thought my eyes were gonna pop out. I don't get it. That's so unlikely. If this if this corporation is so powerful, how do they not Welcome know? Welcome to the Nocturnal Detective Agency. But how do they not know? Whatever. What? You expected something a bit tidier? I guess I wouldn't call this place clean myself. But isn't it awesome? Our own submarine. I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool. Is this really it? Our office is a sub. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> Assigned to a sinking ship of a detective agency. Oh my gosh, Shinigami. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I find it kind of unrealistic that the Amaterasu Corporation doesn't know about our hidden submarine. Like, that's kind of concerning. I'm stuck on that right now. I can't I can't let it go. How do they not know? I need an explanation. Hello, gang. It's nice to meet you all. Thanks for waiting, everyone. Our final new member has arrived at last. Watch it! Don't just come barging in here. Oh, you have an interesting looking face. S sorry. What are you talking about? This is my detective agency, isn't it? Victory is mine. Hang on. Were you guys? Were you guys? What? Gambling? But hold on, that doesn't count. It was an accident thanks to the chief barging in here. Nonsense. You should have expected him to return from his errand. Moreover, you should have realized he was back when our submarine resurfaced. I like her. <sighs> when you put it like that. With my logic, anything is possible. Um, what are they fighting about? Hey, what are you doing with those matches? No fire is allowed on my sub. I mean, fire sounds like a great idea, right? It could only explode. It's just a little game. He strikes the matches one by one. He wins if he lights ten in a row. But if he fails even once, I win. And he failed. Thus, I get all the cash. Somebody sitting in the fireplace? Like, inside the fireplace in the background? Hang on, it was lit. The chief opened the door, which blew it out. I succeeded in lighting it, so the game continues. The uh, next is the seventh, right? Hey, ref, how many matches was it? Uh, you can check by counting the number of chocolates on the table. Sure thing. Uh... One, two, three. She's a detective. Hey, don't eat those. We're using them to count. How many are we missing now? Two or three? Come on, princess. How many did you eat? Be honest. <laughs> uh, two. 
or three. Uh, what comes after three? I'm concerned about her mental state. <laughs> what? I never remember since I so rarely count that high. Please give me just a moment to recall it. Why is she here? <sighs> it's so... Um... Um, why don't you count the number of matchsticks you've used instead? That would- that would make sense. I didn't mean to click through his dialogue, my bad. Oh, right! Uh, I'll just count the matchsticks in the ashtray. Duh. Why the hell are there so many? Didn't you say no open flames are allowed in here? <laughs> <laughs> it's harder to quit than you think. Remember, the number four comes after three, so the answer is four. What the heck? Huh? But there is still a chocolate missing. Hang on, there were more than four to begin with. Did you eat another one? <laughs> You're eating it right now! Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is too delicious. So this is what commoners eat. Interesting. <sighs> It is simply heavenly. She is a nut. Why is she here? Anyway, time to pay up. Enough. I'm using my authority as chief to end this game. And no more gambling. Do you understand you're in con, I ward? Don't give the peacekeepers any reasons to drop in on us. Virtue, honesty, and sting the hell out of trouble. That's our motto here at Nocturnal Detective Agency. Got it? Now then, I'd like to introduce you to our final team member, Yuma Coco Head. A round of applause, please. Nice to meet you all. I was hoping they'd be amazing detectives, but they all look kind of dumb. I kind of, I kind of, I, I really, I don't just kind of, I really agree with Shinigami. I wonder which one of them will die first. Him, or maybe the one who can't count. Hey, knock it off! They managed to get past Amaterasu's attacks. I'm sure they're all amazing. Uh, something, maybe. Yuma, let me introduce everyone to you. First, the one sitting over there is Halara Nightmare, a great master detective. The first to arrive at Khan Ward. That's an interesting name. Alara Nightmare. I like her. The little match boy over there is Desuhiko Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Wait, who's the match boy? You. You got some pink cheeks going on over there, dude. The beautiful lady next to him is Fubuki Clockford. She is the heiress to the famous Clockford family. Fubuki? A pleasure to meet you. Clockwork. Interesting. Clockford, I'm sorry. Not Clockwork, Clockford. And the one inside the fireplace? What? Fireplace? But why there of all places? He says it's calming in there. Anyway, his name is Vivia Twilight. Hey, nice to meet you. Vivia Twilight. These are some interesting names. Wow. Right, now that we're all here, let's have a seat. I guess the purple couch is mine. Sit down right here. Okay, sure. I guess we'll sit down. Now, all remaining agents sent to the Nocturnal Detective Agency are here. There are a lot less of you than what we originally planned. Well, regardless of how many people we would have gotten, we'd still be no match against the peacekeepers' numbers. So, we'll keep laying low down here and avoid provoking them as we've been doing. That's it? Huh? You want to stay submerged in this filthy river? I didn't come here to rot like sewage! 
I want to make a grand entrance, solve all unsolved mysteries, and become a superstar detective. Oh, and once I'm rich and famous, I'll make you all my assistants. In Kanai Ward, solving cases won't make you famous. I think that's gonna put a target on your back, dude. All information is controlled by the peacekeepers. They simply conceal anything that's inconvenient to them. If you want to be famous in this town, it's much easier if you're a villain. I see. Got it. Wait, don't actually do it! Don't instigate anything with those guys. Got it? He is gonna be such a little shithead. He's gonna start so much crap. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Why is the WDO gathering master detectives in Kanai Ward? What do they want us to do? Honestly, I don't know what the WDO is thinking either. I just found out about this recently myself. You didn't receive any instructions? Not yet, at least. I'm hoping they'll call us eventually. But before that, there's something I need to verify first. Yuma, it's about you. Huh? Me? I heard the peacekeepers talking and learned about it back then, but... Do you really have amnesia? Um, yeah, kind of. Huh? <laughs> amnesia? Yeah, seems like I do. I don't remember anything from before getting on the Amaterasu Express. Ah, then you and I are alike. We are amnesia buddies, Yuma. Huh? Fubuki, you too? Indeed. I cannot remember what I had for breakfast. I cannot even recall how I got here. Uh, I think you're just forgetful. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's the same. Stop make things even more complicated. My apologies. What is the source of your amnesia? Is Amaterasu Corporation responsible? No, uh, it doesn't seem likely. I was still at the station when I woke up. So you really don't remember anything. Oh, I'm surprised you got past Amaterasu's attacks like that. I probably can't tell him it's thanks to the pact I made with a death god. You better not. Talking about me breaks the contract. I think I was just lucky. The chief saved me in the end. Well, you can work off your debt to me. So you really don't know who you are? In other words, you don't remember if you were a detective? Nope. That's correct. Oh, but I do have a letter from the WDO. And this outfit is definitely mine because it fits perfectly. Oh <laughs> no, we're not going back to that, are we? I don't doubt you. That's not what I'm worried about. I've already verified your identity. Huh? You know who I am? I didn't just daydream in the park and feed pigeons while y'all were heading here. I checked the routes everyone used and provided support wherever I could. Unfortunately, most of the info was kept secret, so supporting you was all I could do. At the very least, I did manage to obtain info about the Amaterasu Express. Then again, it was mostly thanks to Halara and Desuhiko since they arrived so early. I got the passenger list from Amaterasu Corporation using my special forte. That ability is top secret, so uh, I'm not gonna tell you about it just yet. Your name was on the passenger list, Yuma. Once we knew your name, obtaining more information was easy. I researched the histories of everyone on the list. This doesn't sound like something you need to hear. What? Of course it is! I might finally get to learn about my past! Mm. So... Who am I? You're Yuma Coco Head. The truth might surprise you, but... Among the master detectives registered at the WDO, no individual with the name Yuma Coco Head exists. Um... So how does that work? What do you mean? Five master detectives were summoned to the Amaterasu Express. That is an undisputable fact. But a detective in training was also summoned. Oh, was that, was that us? Detective in training? 
That's you, Yuma. Looks like you've been working toward being a detective at the WDO. You may be part of the organization, but you haven't earned your stripes just yet. So, I'm not really a master detective yet? <laughs> that sounds about right. You never fail to amuse me, Master. Despite that, I know for sure you'll be an integral part of our team. I reviewed your profile in the WDO records, and it turns out you have a phenomenal ability. What is it? An ability? So I do have some sort of special power too? Your record claims that you're a great cook. Oh my god. Would you mind making us breakfast from now on? Oh my gosh. Your life is made. Oh my gosh, Shinigami. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I don't have any memories about cooking. Never mind. Did my profile mention anything else? Oh my goodness. Like where I used to live or my personal history? You know, important information? It didn't have any details of the sort. You see, you've got a trainee's profile, not a proper master detective's. I see. You know, trainees are kind of like appetizers at a restaurant, don't you think? I guess that makes you the appetizer detective! <laughs> oh my gosh. She didn't get all you are. I'll do my best to train you from the ground up to be a great detective. What's wrong? There's nothing to feel ashamed about. Everyone starts off as a trainee. Also, not everyone can use their forte from the get-go. Though some are born rather gifted. Still, no matter how much talent you have, you require the right training to make the most use of your abilities. No matter how smart they are or how dexterous their fingers, no surgeon dives straight into surgery. The same goes for master detectives. If you want to do things the right way, you have to learn it. So everyone here also trains at the World Detective Organization? The WDO requires a two-year training period for all agents, no exceptions. During that time, the agent's paranormal disposition is honed into a forensic forte, specializing in investigation, and those who manage to develop their forte are certified as master detectives. Like me! Plus, once you become a master detective, you get a detective deed from the WDO! By the way, not all detectives working for the WDO are master detectives. There are regular detectives, like myself, who don't have fortes. Hmm. Oh, really? I still got my detective deed. It doesn't say master detective on it, but it still holds the same weight. A forte mostly depends on innate talent. Some people will never develop it, no matter how much effort they put in. But that doesn't mean they can't be a detective. Anyone can get a detective deed as long as they complete their training. So is that my case as well? I don't think I have any special abilities. There is no record about your forte. You could be like me and have no special powers. I knew it. Who cares about that? You've got me, Master. Look, there's no need to be so down about having no forte of your own. That has nothing to do with whether you're a good detective or not. Even a kid or a delinquent can be a master detective if they're good at one thing. But detectives with no special abilities must pass basic testing with flying colors before they're certified. I am ready to fail all of those tests, please. So, in fact, you could say those without special abilities make better detectives. Oh, you're just tooting your own horn, old man. He's trying to make himself feel better. But being both a capable detective and a master detective would be even better. Such as myself. You're tuning your own horn, too! Anyway, whether you have an ability or not, the fact remains that you've been striving to be a detective. So, I wanted to be a detective. Also, keep in mind that despite being a trainee, you were given a directive. That's pretty impressive. You must be quite capable. I mean, master detectives were killed. 
but you managed to survive. I'm not sure if that's right. I am sure you shall eventually remember all that you have forgotten, Yuma. Although, I still do not remember what I ate this morning, let alone yesterday's weather. Oh my goodness. I, it was rainy yesterday, just like it was today. It always rains here. What do you mean you don't remember? It was raining. It's always raining. Thank you. Oh, right. <laughs> Is she this dumb on purpose? <laughs> I think she's putting on an act. Do you think so? I don't know. It'd be kind of hard to put on an act that bad. Maybe she's a giant skank. It's <sighs> boom kill time if you fall for her, master. Oh my goodness. I didn't do anything. By the way, my agency treats both trainees and detectives as the same thing. To all you master detectives, you better not drop your guard or the rookie here is gonna steal your thunder. Got it? <laughs> Go ahead and try. Too bad for you, rookie. I'm gonna take all the medals. I have no desire to compete. <laughs> you senior detectives sure are a handful. Vivia, anything you'd like to say to the newbie? Mm, no, not really. Is there a phone ringing? A call? That's the direct line to the World Detective Organization. So, they're finally contacting us. All communication in Kanai Ward is shut out from the outside world. So that phone is rather special. And obviously, it's kept secret from the Amaterasu folk. Are we gonna answer it or what? If they're contacting us, maybe they'll finally give us our orders. Go ahead, rookie. Huh? You want me to answer? Oh, I get to answer the phone? Yeah, no, we're not gonna answer it right now. All right, guys. Wow, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Unfortunately, though, that's all the time we have for this episode. Oh, man. Game just keeps getting more and more crazy. It it really does. We're in a submarine. I can't even. I can't even. And we're in the prologue. We're not even in chapter one. I don't even, I don't. I don't know. All right, well. And so we have time uh, for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment down in the section below. I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all very soon. Bye.